Hey guys, what's up everyone? Welcome to Young Titan World. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today we're going to be talking about one particular movie. And honestly, the only reason why we even decided to watch this movie in the first place was because of Liza Koshi. Now, if you do not know Liza Koshi, Liza Koshi was a YouTuber once who was, I mean, who was and is very funny, by the way. Uh, she's a really great actor. I really love her acting. And I also love the fact that she was able to transition into acting because she was once a YouTuber. She even had a relationship with a guy. The relationship was beautiful because they looked so happy together and all of a sudden they broke up. And it really hurt me badly, but I've been following her ever since. And um, as it turns out, the movie we're gonna be talking about today is one that she's in. And she plays a very uh, intriguing role in as well. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be talking about Players. Uh, players is a movie about people who always do pickups. Like, they always go on these one night stands and they always have to like come up with a gig. It's like they're rehearsing for a role. They play a role and at the end of the day, they get what they want, which is smashing, banging being a part of someone's night for a couple of hours and then dipping. So it's, that's their usual routine, right? So they go to a bar, they scan through the mass, the masses, they see who they want, then they come up with a play in order to get the person that they want. Um, next part of this is that one of them, at least the girl, uh, she falls in love. The It's like, uh, what do you call it? The moment that we get to that part, we get to a part where one of them, the players, falls in love with one of her targets. You know, they were supposed to part ways after the one night stand, but now she wants to have a serious relationship. And it's not something that they have endeavored to do in a long time. You know, it's like they're consistently going after people and doing one night stands so they're not exactly insistent on keeping a relationship in the first place which is weird you know none of them want to settle down but since one fell down to that part at least she came across a person who's a journalist has an interesting background. She wants to spend more time with him, so she puts the play into action and she finally nabs him. Now, everything is supposed to be hunky-dory, right? We're supposed to switch into the spot where she's gotten her dream guy, she's in a relationship with him, but then she realizes something really unique about this particular character. He lives a life that is completely opposite to hers. The things that he loves are not the things that she loves. The things that he, he, he tolerates or the things that he tries to understand about the world is stuff that's really dark, complicated, has a lot of rigid areas to it. And you can't really blame him considering the life that he's got, right? Now, I'm not even going to go into the details of, of what exactly makes him. I mean, obviously he was Lucifer, he's handsome, he's British. Of course, you would love him in the first glance. But then she realizes that she has things that she's passionate about. She's, she has things that she really likes talking about, but he doesn't he doesn't like the fact that genuineness or just expression expressing feelings and emotions through your work of art is not something he's used to so there is one particular paper she's an article writer as well and she made one one that her entire career could be writing on but he decides to rewrite it in a way that he believes will help her. But she doesn't see it as helpful. She sees it as damning, which means that he wants to like change who she is in order to fit his life. She doesn't stand up for it and she decides to bail. Now during this entire time, there was one in her camp. In fact, one of the players 
who had feelings for her, was in a relationship with her, but broke it off because she was dealing with family trauma. Her mom died and he didn't want to feel like he was manipulating her. You know, it's like he was using that to his advantage, trying to get at her to fall on him, shoulder to cry on, blah, blah, blah. You know, like, cause she was emotionally vulnerable at that moment in time. But she also thought that, okay, maybe he didn't want it because he didn't want drama. And they were so wrong about each other. So she realizes that the fact is, she was trying to find a guy who was perfect for her and the guy was around her all along. Yeah, we've, we've heard of these stories before. We've heard of, you know, like, oh my God, at the end of the day, it wasn't the flashy guy that I was interested in that was the man of my dreams. I knew this was coming. <laughs> I, I admit it just took me a couple of five minutes to realize or like to figure out who it was. But then I was like, oh, okay, it's the black dude. We're good. And, and that didn't really take long. If you get to 30 minutes of the movie, you'd realize that he's always out there for her, trying to see what's best for her. In fact, if you have lived such a life, it will be easy for you to determine who exactly that person is, that sort of ride or die guy that is always willing to step in for you trying to give you the best possible experience whatsoever is the person that you can easily relax with you don't think too much about it but then they actually have feelings for you and you cannot confront them so it's there's only two things is either you're interested in them or you're not interested in them and they can actually break their hearts both ways i mean if you choose to accept them they don't know how to react if you choose to deny them they give you a hundred reasons why you shouldn't and that even makes it even more awkward <laughs> yeah anyways um players is a really simple chill movie i like it the plays all seem gen <laughs> the scene, they all seem real and it seems like a lot of people exist in this world who don't exactly want to take relationships seriously i may not be one such person but i do understand that committing to someone is a task on its own that requires a level of fortitude and knowing what you both want at the end of the day so i guess what i'm trying to say is that there could be a lot of players in this world not just in this movie but in our daily lives and they don't want to get attached to anybody or create any bridges that can come back to bite them in the ass and it could seem like a much much easier solution than to stick with one person and let them be your only source of news that's problematic for some people but hey man i like the show I give it an 8 out of 10. 7, 8 out of 10. Because it's... It reflects to people that I don't really understand. It's, it's It reflects to people's lives that I, I don't really know much about. And so it's intriguing to see it from their POV. It's interesting to see that sort of life. From afar, that is. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope that you take care of yourselves. Um, I'm hoping that we have another episode that we get to talk about. Until next time, please do take care of yourselves. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day.